viewers, you are welcome to this morning devotion in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for bringing us to the beginning of this week and we thank him for keeping us alive to share from the Church of Nigeria devotional guide, the daily fountain of this day being Monday, August 14, 2017. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the privilege to be alive today. We thank you because you are the Father of all. Father, to you alone be all the glory. As you have enabled us to be alive, as we meditate today from your word, may your word continue to nourish us. May your word bring blessing upon our lives. May we, O oh Lord God Almighty, continue to move under your protection and under your guidance. This is our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Viewers, for the meditation this morning, the topic says the overcomers. And the test is taken from Revelation chapter 12, verses 7 through 12. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought. But they did not prevail. Nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out. That serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a voice, a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before our God, day and night has been cast down and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to the death therefore rejoice O heavens and you who dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he has a short time this is the word of the lord viewers the devotional this day has this to tell us remember the topic says the overcomers the two groups of overcomers mentioned in today's passage have at least one thing in common they stand on the Lord's side. First, Michael and the other angels who chose to obey God overcame Satan and his demons. With this defeat, the entire host of demons lost their place in heaven and were pushed down to the earth. According to verses 7 through 9, the second group of overcomers, obviously human, also overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, as we have it in verses 10 and 11. Every time Satan is defeated in our lives and circumstances, we reaffirm the victory shout, as we have it in verse 10, that salvation and the strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come. What should we employ and how should we employ these two weapons today? Viewers, from the passage, we have and war broke out in heaven. Today, human beings in our nation, Nigeria, we do experience all kinds of wars political war, religious war, social war, and name it. And here, 
if certain staged war in heaven today we have all these wars happening around us but thank god for archangel michael and the angels that obeyed divine law the god almighty they obeyed and they stood their ground they did not allow the enemy to prevail being an overcomer means that god has given us power giving you the power to overcome giving you power in order to defeat and to achieve victory to possess your possessions no matter the war the enemy might stage we have the mighty god who is there to deliver us therefore satan did not win the war in heaven he was cast down here on earth believers equally defeated him because the scripture informs us that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony the blood of the lamb our weapon the bible says that the weapon of our warfare are not carnal they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations so here we have the weapon the blood of the lamb the blood of jesus christ has settled it for us and whenever we mention the blood whenever we move with the blood whenever we trust our god he is able to grant us that victory the next weapon the word of our testimony the testimony that jesus is lord the testimony of his salvation the testimony that in christ we have that particular life that will move us forward this week as we have entered this particular week the day being 14th day of august it is a prayer that god will enable you to remain an overcomer as a believer as a child of god there are challenges out there there are circumstances that one ordinarily you may not be able to face but with god with your trust with confidence in what he is able to do we are advising we are pleading with you we are pointing you to the right direction for you to trust him because he will never fail us the angels in heaven they overcame and here on earth the people of god god will enable us to continue to remain overcomers because we trust him therefore as we move throughout this week within this week within this month in our lives the presence of the lord is there for us next the bible as we have it now says therefore rejoice o heavens and you who dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth according to verse 12 of revelation chapter 12 woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil has come down to you he's here moving to and fro seeking for whom to devour but we have the lion of the tribe of judah jesus christ himself he is the weapon he is the master of the universe because his salvation upon our lives is there and as we move and trust him he will never allow us to be defeated we will remain overcomers that's our confidence here on earth so as you go about your day to day assignments as you go about your business is trust him as you face challenges of this time trust him as you don't have anything to eat he is there in order to guide and to direct to grant you that favor to remember you people of god this morning this day rely on him do not allow your heart to be disheartened trust in god rely upon his word he will never allow you to go being defeated 
And the Bible equally says, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. We are rejoicing because the devil, he has a short time. He will never prevail. He will never stand the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. That's our short testimony. And from the devotional again, we have this. Accepting the finishing work of Christ concerning our salvation and the consistent reading as we study with meditation and application of the word of God. All these things, they are the obvious answers for us this day. Continue to read from the scriptures. Continue to trust God. Continue to meditate. Apply the word of God. Do not grow weary in your prayers. With prayer, we will overcome. Determine today to apply this in your life. As we have in verse 11b, it is clear that the path to being an overcomer may involve some costs. It may cost you something. It may involve some costs. As we have it in Luke chapter 14, verse 27, but the benefit far outweigh these costs. As we have it in Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. As we move on, as we trust him, God will come to our rescue. He will not abandon us. Remember the finished work of Christ on the cross of Calvary? That's our short testimony. That's the confidence we have. As we move to God in prayer, this morning we are going to pray. No matter the schemes of the evil one, no matter the plans of Satan in your personal life, in your business life, in your family life, maybe at your place of work. No matter what he is planning, no matter the world he is trying in order to bring in against you or against your personality, to my your character, God will give you victory in the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, viewers, it shall be well with you. The presence of the Lord will go with you. Bow your head as we pray this morning. O Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you this day. We glorify your holy name because of your salvation upon our lives, because you sent your son Jesus Christ who died for us to deliver us out of the challenges those things that the evil ones have schemed, Lord, we thank you. And we thank you for bringing us to the beginning of this week. And we pray for your presence. No matter the plans of the evil ones, O oh Lord, deliver us and grant us that victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that might cause division in your church, in our family set up, Lord, at our place of work, in order to distract, in order to remove us from the position you have given to us. Lord, let those things be eliminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Uphold us, your children. Bless this week for us. And bless us as we carry out our day-to-day -day assignment. Lord, bless your church. Bless the work being carried out in the midst of your children. Thank you, Father. May your name and your name alone be highly exalted and glorified. This is our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.